Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 23rd through the 31st. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, I'd like to give a special shout out to Tarot, this and that, 1111. The link is in the description box below. Um, she gave a special shout out to Tarot of Light. She was actually a client of mine. I did a reading for her last year. Her daughter died and, um, you know, I, I kind of helped her and now she wants to give back to the community. So she is a new reader on YouTube if you would like to, um, you know, give, show her some support and love and like, share, comment, and subscribe. You can also check out the, um, uh, the shout out that she did for Tarot of Light. Okay. So that'll be in the description box below. So let's get shuffled up. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Aries, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, August 23rd through the 31st. All right, my loves. So if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, um, runes. I give away jewelry, crystals, um, NIV version Bibles, I give away self-help books, anything from Joyce Meyer to, you know, Reiki cleansing, chakra healing, whatever helps you on your spiritual journey, okay? Um, in the description box below, you will find an email, manifestlove777 at gmail. Just go ahead and shoot me what you would like to win in the giveaway and your YouTube name to enter to win, okay? Um... I will also be doing a $250 giveaway that will be announced once a month. The winner will be picked at random, and that winner will be announced the last week of the month. So be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced because you don't want to win and then you know you know you miss the video. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, Aries, which was kind of like, oh, what are you gonna do? You know, so what I'm getting here, guys, is is there was a connection that came apart okay and i feel aries that you know and this can be vice versa so you take it as it resonates aries aries we have the page of swords under the deck aquarius gemini libra energy so you take this as it resonates okay but the energy that i picked up on was <clears throat> there was a separation here and i feel like somebody was kind of waiting for you know to come back together to reconcile okay um but someone is realizing now that that was, you know, they just didn't realize that, well, this is really over, okay? Um, uh, you know, Aries, that could have been you. You could have been sitting around waiting, expecting to reconcile with somebody, and it's just kind of like, oh, oh, wow, I didn't realize that we were really done. Okay, then, well, I'm going to go and you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go and, and, and mind my own business. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you dipped on me and you went and, you know, it's really over, so I'm going to go and you know, start my life, go do something else with my life, right? So the problem here is, is that um, I feel somebody here is regretting the fact that they didn't commit. I feel like someone here secretly does want to, um, I feel like someone here secretly did want to commit. They did want to get back together. They're regretting being so stubborn and so stern and causing the illusion that they didn't want this to come back together. Do you see what I'm saying, Aries? So again, separation. Someone here maybe was in their pride, their ego. Maybe they were expecting you to beg or grovel. I don't know, okay? But this person realistically was waiting for reconciliation, okay? They were, um but they're kind of putting up this front of, oh, no, I don't want this to come back together. So, you know, you dipped, Aries. You went and you did your thing. And, you know, on the, <coughs> excuse me, on the inside, this person is like dying. They're really not doing well. This person is just like, you know, up at night, overthinking, beating themselves up. Why did I not say something? Why did I not say I wanted to reconcile? Why did I not take the opportunity uh, when it was available? Why did I play games? You see what I'm saying? 
we have body care here, guys. So Aries, you may have hit the gym. You're taking care of yourself. You're going out with your friends. You're doing your thing. And Aries, if that's not you, that's your person. And with the Page of Swords, I feel like this person is watching this online. They may be stalking. They're watching you move on with your life, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Go out, have a good time. You know, it's not like you didn't want to reconcile. You offered. You were like, oh, okay. All right. So we're really over. I didn't know that you were really, you know, serious about this being over. Okay. So we've got angel of balance here so that's like the temperance card so there's a level of peace of patience of prosperity uh, victory you know what i'm saying is someone here it looks like they're just doing really well okay i'm getting this energy of someone's doing fantastic like you know what i'm saying somebody's doing well and i feel like that's you know might be your your energy aries okay We've got playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like someone here is having a good time. And if that's not you, Aries, then it's your person. Someone here is just doing fine. They're like, you know, I'm good. I'm going to the gym, taking care of myself, getting my hair done, getting my beard trimmed, doing my thing. Life is good. You know, going out, having a good time fragmented energy. So there's someone here that's watching this. Okay. That is, uh, very emotionally conflicted let's just put it that way they're they're all over the place this that's like that nine of swords energy um their thoughts are all over the place they're, they're they they're having anxiety massive anxiety watching this because you know they're feeling like they lost the opportunity obviously they're asking themselves why was i so stupid you know what i'm saying why was i so stubborn to let this go um now again aries this could be you going through this or your person confidence is your key to success um, someone here may have to, uh, yeah, nothing will come of the situation. I got to be honest with you. Confidence is your key to success and then nothing will come of the situation. I feel like someone was in their ego and they thought they would win. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I feel like somebody would thought that if they would be stubborn and in their ego, the other person would come back and grovel. And instead nothing came of this. It just fell flat on its face. You see what I'm saying? Um, Someone here should have brought love into the situation instead of ego or expecting someone to crawl or grovel. Do you see what I'm saying? So I, I feel like someone thought confidence was the key, like being in their ego was the key, and now they're seriously regretting it. Seriously regretting it. We've got vulnerability. Yeah, vulnerability. Now that ego is gone. Now that ego is, it's like an ego death. You see what I'm saying? It's like that someone here is having an ego death. Someone here, you know, thought that they were on top, pushing someone away. Whoa, that was like all the freaking cards. Okay, so anyways, um, somebody thought that they were on their, you know, on their game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, pushing someone away, not wanting to reconcile, making someone beg, making someone grovel, blocking. You understand what I'm saying? Like somebody was in their ego feeling really good that the other person wanted to reconcile. <coughs> they wanted this person to beg. They wanted this person to, to beg. And someone got tired and they were like, I, you know, obviously this is really over. So I'm moving on. We've got plain. A journey is indicated either physically, metaphorically, or metaphorically, your life will become more full. Someone is straight up moving on. Maybe someone's going on vacation. Someone here is having a really good time. Okay. <laughs> Someone here is just like, all right, well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you later. You know, and uh, I feel like someone's really regretting it. They're not, re they're regretting not taking the opportunity to reconcile when it was available. Okay. Someone was in their ego. They thought that they were going to win that way. And they're realizing that no, see, yeah, not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person boundaries, still angry, okay? And we've got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So, I mean, this is literally what I have just been saying, okay? We have somebody that tried to reconcile and they got screamed at they got hung up on they said i don't i'm still angry i'm putting up my boundaries i don't want to deal with you and after this person hung up the phone they expected this person here to continue groveling but no this person went to hawaii apparently <laughs> like you know what i'm saying this person decided to chose to just be happy they chose to just be happy you see what i'm saying They're, okay well you know listen hey linda i tried you know what i'm saying uh you know if you're that mad at me and you hate me that much and okay then you know maybe we're just not meant to be together okay um yeah i feel now that someone is is healing from this and they're realizing <coughs> the mistake that they made they're realizing that someone has moved on and oh boy 
we've got facade yes yeah, someone here was wearing a mask someone here was not being honest because the person here that is saying that is hanging up the phone saying no I don't want to deal with this I'm mad at you blah 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 they really still love this person they want to be with this person they just wanted the other person to grovel okay dissipating now that mask is falling off okay and that vulnerable side is coming out victim how could you really do this to me how could you really walk away like what is going on someone's intuition is telling them to like get online and be like where where did this person go <coughs> you understand what i'm saying like it, it's just been too long that somebody went without maybe hearing from the other person and someone's like oh i, I gotta hop online i gotta go find out and see what this person is up to someone's intuition is telling them that you know they messed up you know Four of Cups, Four of Cups, the World Card, the Hanging Man, Piscean Energy. Isn't this deck beautiful? The Chariot, Cancerian Energy, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. Did I say Cancerian energy with the chariot? Um, the Six of Swords. And the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. So, guys, here we have somebody that rejected an offer. Plain and simple. This person rejected an offer for the world card. It's real. We're really done. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want this anymore. I'm rejecting. I'm not accepting your apology. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I'm hanging up the phone. Bye. We're done. I really don't want to have anything to do with you. Okay. So someone here even waited after that. I feel like someone even waited after this phone call or waited after this was announced. And then finally with the chariot, this person said, you know what? Listen, Linda, okay. You don't want to, you don't want to be with me. I'm going to make the decision to move forward in life with the seven of wands and the knight of wands. Someone here, you know, said, okay, I got to get over this. I have to heal. <clears throat> I have to overcome. They don't want to be with me. Knight of wands and the six of swords. Someone here started dating again. They started, they went back to their single life you know they started looking good feeling good dating doing their own thing seven of cups multiple options somebody here you know is exploring their options they're there you said you didn't want this anymore what do you want from me do you understand and this person i feel was waiting for the begging and you know nine of cups the emperor aries taurus libra no, Aries Taurus energy, excuse me. I was thinking the Empress. We've got the Fool Aries energy. And the Two of Cups. The Ten of Swords. <coughs> excuse me. The Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Swords. And the three of wands. Okay, so this is really kind of interesting, okay? So what we have here is an emperor who was stubborn, putting up boundaries, just just being, you know what I'm saying, just a scotch. I don't know if you guys know what that means. Like just being a butthead, you know what I'm saying? Nine of, of cups. This person was very smug or in this energy of being selfish of you know cater to me beg to me you know what i'm saying like somebody here wanted to like dominate the other person and and you know just you know what i'm saying like they wanted someone to grovel i feel that that did not happen though someone here took off they they started dating they went to go maybe they're in a relationship now someone here maybe is literally in a relationship and with the wheel of fortune the shoe is on the other foot because now we have this emperor where this knight of wands, where this person was. You see what I'm saying? This person at one point was hurting. This person at one point wanted this to work. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they got shut out. They got shut out and then they moved on with their life. And now this person wants it to work, but it might be... I have to seize. Oh, I lost it. Okay. I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know what the hell I'm going through. But anyways... um. So with the Emperor, the Fool, and the Cups, I, I feel like someone here is starting is finding out that somebody has moved on. They're in a new relationship. And with the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, it's interesting because now this Emperor feels like the victim. Like, wow, they really left me. But no, they didn't leave. Look, buddy just sneezed. Did you hear that? I didn't sneeze, but my dog did. Anyways, so moving on. 
so it's funny because this emperor feels like the victim now. This emperor feels like the victim. Like first this emperor hung up the phone and yelled and screamed at this person and said, no, I don't want you, right? And this person moved on. And now this emperor's like, oh my gosh, you really moved on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really moved on? How dare you? How dare you cut me out? I've been waiting for you. How dare you choose someone else? I've been waiting for you to come and call and beg for me back and, you know what I'm saying, ride in and, 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 and not let me go and fight for me. You see, the, the shoe is on the other foot now, okay? And it, I find it hilarious because there's this energy of this emperor feels offended. Like, this emperor feels offended like they were the ones victimized. Meanwhile, the emperor is the one who told this person here to go screw off. You see what I'm saying? I mean, all right, let's see here. Tell me about the Four of Cups. page of pentacles someone came in with an apology capricorn taurus virgo energy an offer let's work on this and it was rejected okay the world card someone came in you know let's let's meet up let's let's go out to lunch let's talk about this let's work on this nope i don't want to do that hung up the phone i don't want to hanging man this emperor just left this person hanging okay this emperor said nope i don't want this anymore i don't want it i don't want it em aries taurus energy you understand the chariot the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So this person said, okay, I'm going to cut this out of my life. Obviously, this person doesn't, they don't, they don't trust me. They don't want to be with me. They don't like me. They're being mean to me. So I'm going to move on. Seven of Wands and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Uh, you know, I feel like it was hard for this person because the Seven of, of Wands does talk about overcoming challenges. But this person manifested. They did what they had to do. They made it work. And with the Knight of Wands, they emotionally disconnected and went back into, I don't want to say player mode. They just said, you know, they're living a single life they're looking good feeling good going to the gym dating doing their thing on tinder whatever six of swords and the ace of swords someone here you know gained their victory they they saw that clearly that it's time to move on so they went to go pursue and invest in other options i mean i don't really feel like the person did anything wrong you know apparently it's over right with the world card uh, but this person, this ember doesn't think that way. <laughs> Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. You see, this person wanted a big apology. They wanted something over the top. They wanted begging. They wanted a huge gift. They wanted, I don't know, a diamond ring or something. You know what I'm saying? But the Emperor with the Knight of Wands, the Leo Sag Aries energy, th this Emperor wanted somebody, they wanted this, this person here to chase them. Do you understand what I'm saying? They wanted to be chased, pursued, passionately. Do you understand? The Fool card... And the star, Aquarian energy, someone here was just like two of cups and the judgment card. I Yeah, I feel like someone here was expecting this person to come charging in to reconcile. They were expecting that. The ten of swords and the nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy. Now this person's having a heart attack. They're on the floor. Look at this. I mean, they're on the floor crying. They're on the floor crying, holding their head. My God, what did I do? I'm really single now. I've lost my person. You know, nine of empress, nine of empress energy. Listen to me. Oh my gosh, I need to go to bed. Nine of pentacles energy, pre-empress. Okay, wheel of fortune. We've got the eight of pentacles. Listen, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow, okay? What this person did here, what this emperor did is they hurt and were mean to this person. They kicked them away. And now this person is realizing that they are single. The shoe is on the other foot. You only get back what you put into this life, you know? Uh, with the two of cups, excuse me, two of swords and the three of cups, someone here is not, you know, they're not coming back for reconciliation. They're going out. They're having a good time. They're going to have a drink. They're, they're going dating, okay? Three of wands and the devil. Capricorn energy. While this person here is still at their window waiting, pissed off, stalking, page of swords and the devil, jealous, upset, stalking, mad, angry, just not a happy person, okay? Um, but, you know, they created this. They created this. This person did come back. They did want to work this out. They literally said, I'm sorry. They literally said, can we meet up? Can we have a talk? Can we work this out? And this person just, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 were mean they could they hung up the phone page of pentacles and the nine of wands um capricorn taurus virgo energy yeah someone here got tired of asking for forgiveness someone here got tired of being shut out they got tired of being blocked they got tired of being do you understand what i'm saying so we have this person here that got tired of apologizing. This person here got tired of, you know, trying to communicate. And we've got this. The challenge here is that this person here now 
feels hurt because someone's not coming in to apologize anymore. But what do you want? You know what I'm saying? So the outcome here, we've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Someone here is finding out a truth that somebody has moved on. Okay, someone is finding out a truth that someone has moved on. Maybe they're in a new relationship. Okay, I don't know. But someone here, you know, has moved on. Either they're coming in to speak their truth that they want a new beginning. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. The Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, Ace of Swords. The bottom line here, guys, is that somebody honestly wanted to start a new beginning here, but somebody here slept on it. They didn't take the offer. That's the outcome. I mean, that just is what it is. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone here could have had abundance. This person offered it, okay? But the truth of the matter is, is that someone held back playing games, you know what I'm saying? Being in balance. Like someone here was saying, I want to work this out. The other person's like, no, no, I don't want to work it out. I don't want to work it out. You know what I'm saying? Someone here was holding back the truth, not being honest. And now it is what it is. That's it, you know. It, it, you reap what you sow. You know, you reap what you sow. So, you know, now the shoe is on the other foot where this person wants to reconcile. And, you know, this person is probably like, I've moved on. You know, I've moved on. I'm living my life. I don't want to deal with this, you know. All right, guys. I love you. Take care. Bye.